I have a router here. This is connected to another router. Just two routers is enough to test this, what I'm trying to show you. <coughs> I'm connecting a cable. Now on the left hand side, I'm going to take a few networks like 10 dot 1 dot 0 dot 0 or 0 dot 1 slash 16. Is this subnetted or uh, classful? Is this subnetted or classful? Subnetted. Class foolish slash 8 for 10. 10 is class A. So slash 8 is the actual subnet mask. Slash 16 is subnetted. 10 dot 2 dot 0 dot 1 is another subnet of 10. 10 dot 3 dot Ten dot <coughs> four dot zero dot one slash sixteen. Ten dot now I have five networks of ten. I got five networks of ten. Hmm. Five networks up there. See, for each network, you need an interface. For each network, you need an interface. And I have five networks. But this router don't have interface. Is it? Including the console, everything. Okay, console is here. It has got only, I can see the labels here, one, two, three, label only. Let me see. I see gig 0001, 0002, and 0000. Three interface only I have, just three. But I'm going to give IP address five subnets plus one physical interface, six subnets, which means I need six interface, six port. Do I have six port? No. I don't have six port. But still, you can have six networks. How? This is for testing what we are doing, right? This, this five networks need not to be a real network. We want this network to test something. We are not going to have any computers connecting to this network. In that case, in that case, what you can do is you can create a logical interface called loopback zero. This is one interface. Loopback zero. Lubeck one. 
I will create these interfaces. These don't really exist. Means what I mean is they do exist if you create, but they don't exist physically. You will not find any physical ports. You can't connect any wire. But this can respond to your ping as the real port responds. Did you understand what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, now. <laughs> Let us also have some blue box here. Here I'm going to say six, seven. Right. <coughs> Ten. Okay. And I'm going to put this in the EIGRP autonomous system number, let's say one thousand. So to one. See, physically it has got only three interface. Mm -hmm. I showed you that in the picture. Okay, router two. I just gave name to the routers. And let us start configuring IP address. Before that, I would like to show you. Listen, we have three physical interface only. We'll talk about VLAN interface later when we switch here. Now we are going to use only this physical interface. Along with this, I'm going to create five interfaces called Lubeck interfaces. <laughs> Lubeck interface is different from Lubeck address. Long back, when we were in IP addressing class, you learned Lubeck address, address that's starting with 127. That is for self-diagnostic test. That is to check whether your OSI layer is, is working on your device. Now we are talking about loopback interface. The interface that is logically connected. See, interface, loopback, 
you can give any number between 0 to this big number. I'm going to say 0 because on the board I have written 0, Lubeck 0. And this IP address I'm going to give. You see, as soon as I hit enter, the interface got created and the state change stop both line protocol and the state and you no need to say no shutdown for Lubet. you know why because you only created it why again you need to say no shutdown it is not shut down it is up only by default Next, I'm going to create another blueback interface. Next. So I'll use Apero and I'll just change this number. I'll use Apero, I'll just change this number. Easy. You don't need to exit every time and come in. You can simply be, be, be here in this Lubeck 3 and create Lubeck 4 and hit it. It's going to stay to Lubeck 4 now. You are inside Lubeck 4 now. You need to simply up, make it 5. And we also have one more interface, interface G000 with IP address G00 IP address is what? 172.16.01 16 mask <coughs> This you have to say no shut out Exit now I want you to verify before you go to the second router. Listen carefully. Show IP interface B. Look at this. These interfaces were not there before. Got created. When we create it, got created. Show version command will show you how many interfaces exist. You see, it still shows only the physical interface, three physical interfaces. It won't show you virtual interfaces. Okay. Now let us go to the other end, other side, other router. Even here, you see, you don't have loopback interfaces. I would like to start with Gig Ethernet here. 172.16.0.2. This is as per the plan. G00 is 172.16.0.2. And interface loopback zero is ten dot six dot zero dot one. This is as per the plan you see here ten dot six dot zero dot one.
All right. Now let us verify. <coughs> sure, IP interface brief. You see? We got all the interfaces active, including this. Earlier on this router, this was down. The reason is the other router was not configured, but now it has come up. You can see all up. So first of all, let us try pinging the directly connected 172.16.0.2. I'm able to ping. Let me try pinging this address, which I cannot which I can ping, this is my own. I can ping my own address, but I cannot ping 6.1, which is not in this router. I'm in router one. I am in router one. That is in router two. 10.6.0.1 is in router two. You cannot ping because you don't have root. That's why we are going to enable EIGRP. Pay attention. I say router EIGRP 1000 and I say network 10. That's all I'm saying. But how many 10 networks I have here? Five 10 networks. 10.1, 10.2, You no need to say all those stuff if you want to advertise all of this. I repeat, if you want to advertise all of this, you no need to say five times 10. You just say 10, that's it. Let me show you now. Show IP, EIGRP interface. How many interfaces do you think that the router will be running EIGRP? Tell me. How many interfaces do you think the router will be running EIGRP? How many interfaces are there? Exactly. All five interfaces will be running EIGRP because of this one command. You see, Lubeck zero to Lubeck. All five interfaces are running. And show IP protocol. See, the summarization will not happen by default in the newer versions. This is newer version of EIGRP. Summarization won't happen. If you wish to summarize, if you wish to summarize, we have to say auto summary. We'll talk about that few minutes later. Now, one more interface that needs to run EIGRP. So I need to go here and say network. 172.16. That interface also should run EIGRP. See this. So when I put network 172.16.0.0, EIGRP starts working on the physical interface also. Now let's go and verify again. Show IP EIGRP interfaces. Look at this. All right. What I'm going to do next. I'll go to router 2. I repeat the same configuration. Oh. Whenever I type wrong commands, it will search the domains. If you don't like this, you can say no IP domain lookup. No IP domain lookup in the global configuration mode will avoid the wastage of time like this. See, it won't allow me until 
the time out. It will search, search, search. At last, no one responds. It is asking by sending this command to everyone connected. It is asking anyone knows about this. No one will respond. At last, it will time out and come out, which is going to take approximately 60 minutes. And uh, how do we avoid this again? See, no IP. No IP domain lookup. After you see, this is not EIGRP command. This is general knowledge. In the, no, I should not say general. This is basic command that should be typed on every router before we start. See, now I'm going to make the same mistake. What is the mistake I was doing? CO and FT together. No space between CO and F. And CO and F. You see, this time it did not search. Because I said, don't. No means what? Don't. Do not look up. Do not search the domains for the command. Okay. Coming to EIGRP now. Router EIGRP 1000, same number you have to type. That side 1000, this side also 1000. Network <coughs> 10, network, that's all. Look at this. As soon as I, I run EIGRP on this 172 interface, which is Geek Ethernet, I immediately formed neighbor with this guy. Who is this dot one? This is router one. It says dual algorithm. Five minutes information. Have discovered neighbor. A new adjacency is formed. <laughs> okay, so let us go and verify now. See here, show IP, EIGRP neighbor. I have a neighbor. This is router first zeroth host, zeroth EIGRP host. Who is that? The one with IP is one seventy sixteen zero one, which is router one. And it is it is neighbor for one minute and I need set. Neighbor for one minute and forty seconds. <clears throat> we'll talk about this smooth round trip, round trip, timeout, all the stuff later. Now Show IP route. You see, you can see EIGRP uh -huh. I don't see any routes coming here. Because it is summarizing by default, sorry. Show IP, I said it will not summarize in the newer version, correct? But this doesn't look like a newer version. Older version will summarize. I can see that it is summarizing. Let us check. Show IP protocol again. Yeah, it is not saying not in effect. It is saying is in effect. 
is in 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 english la or corporal in effect na ena therima effect a illa na artho in effect ana space uttumna see this is the confusion in space effect that is what written here ineffective means what swarne illa or ke pandradilla so this is different from this this is saying in effect meaning automatic network summarization is working automatic network summarization is working what it does it summarizes like this and send the update on this interface meaning it is taking all this network and on this interface it is summarizing like this that is what told here on this interface of router 2 this is what sent so this is older version by default it is doing what summarization likewise all this will be summarized and sent like this now if you notice here both router 1 and router 2 send the same info <clears throat> they will not learn now when you give the same information what i already know it's of no use for me i will not take i already have 10000 i know summary of all this is 10000 and this router will say i also know what about this router one gives router two says i already know so i am not going to take yours what i am trying to say here is when you check the routing table show ip route you don't see any routes learned except this one you are learning the summary from the other router sorry you are not learning sorry you are not learning it simply says i am summarizing this 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 this, this. like this who is saying that ehr pc i am summarizing this and i am sending it on this interface it is sending but arun is not taking go and check on arun show i p not not taking as a result if you try pinging 10.6.0.1 which is on the other router still you won't ping because whatever router 2 gives router 1 is not getting whatever router 1 gives router 2 is not getting even children avanukku yerkana therinjidu onna irukku adanalai rendu per kudukranga ana oru sir kudukuradhu innoru sir vaangiradilla காரணம் சமரைஸ் பண்ணி ரெண்டு பேரும் ஒரே விஷயத்தையே கொடுக்குறாங்க த சமரி ஆஃப் திஸ் நெட்வொர்க் இஸ் டென் ஜீரோ 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 ஒன்லி நோ இட் இஸ் அ கிளாஸ்ஃபுல் ஆஃப் ஆல் தி சப்ஜெக்ட் 
the summary of this also is the same. Yeah? So, they don't learn each other. In this scenario, if you want the ping to happen, what you have to do is, you have to cancel the summarization. Let me cancel and show you. Router EIGRP 100, sorry, 1000. No auto summary, simple. No, no auto summary. When you hit enter and go back and check the routing table, show IP route now. Earlier, we were having one Summarize, summarize, summarization route, summarized route, pointing towards null zero. It was pointing towards null interface. Null means dummy interface. But now you don't see that because the summarization is no more happening. Let me go to router two, router EIGRP 1000. No auto summary. Okay, now you will see a big difference. I'm back to router one. Check the routing table. Look at this. You got all these detailed routes from other router. Now router one very clearly knows that 10.6 10 is with router two. 10.7 is with router 2. 10 to 8, 10 to 10, 10 to 10, all are with router 2. How I know? I learned through D. D means what? D means what? Why EHRP is not called as E? Dual algorithm. Okay, now let's go back to other router also and check. Show IP route. You see, even here you are learning all this. So if you ping now 10.4.0.1, you will get a reachability. Check here. Earlier when we were pinging this, the ping was not going, but now it goes. So remember, when you have this discontiguous network, what is discontiguous network? <coughs> You have some 10 networks here and some 10 networks here. In the middle, you got some other network. Totally different network in the middle. We call this as discontinuous network. In this situation, you have to say no auto summary because by default, summarization is done. But don't worry, in the newer version, you no need to say no auto summary because by default, they are not going to summarize. Listen, when I type now show IP protocol, you can see the word not, which was not there earlier. So far good. Is it clear, Arjun? Rain? What we are going to see next is, what if I do not like to advertise all these networks? Right now, all these five networks are advertised. All these five are advertised. When I say no auto summary, you see in router two, show IP route, if you want to see only EIGRP route, I can put EIGRP. You see, I'm learning all the five networks from router one. This is router one address. Likewise, on router two, if you go and see, sorry, if you go to router one and see the router two's network, I see all five networks. But I don't want this. I don't want this to be like this. I would like to 
advertise few networks, not all of them. Listen, I won't advertise, let's say, only this. Likewise, here I want to advertise only this. You understand? I don't want to advertise any other network. What we can do? In RIP, it is very difficult to do that. You need to write some filter list and all. When we come to CCIE level, I'll show you in RIP how to do that. But now, you see, I do not want to advertise these things. How can we do that? In EHGRP, it is very easy. We can use something called wildcard mask. You see, router EIGRP 1000, remove the old configuration that we did. What is that? Network 10, 0, 0, 0. Remove this. Also remove from other router. After removing, if you go and check in the routing table, you don't see any routes. Gone. All the routes gone because I removed the route. It's gone. There's no route. If I ping now, I will not be able to ping. I cannot ping. Now, I'll go to router 2 and advertise only the network that I want to. I want to advertise only 10, 9. So what I can do, I can say like this. Match 10.9. Even this should match. Earlier, we were saying match 10. So all these were matching 10. Now you need to say match up to here. Up to here, how many bits? 16 bits. Do you agree? Uh, so I need to say like this. Network 10.9.0.0. If you hit enter now, if you hit enter, useless. If you hit enter like this, it will not take 16. It will take 10, 0, 0, 0 only. So, you should use wildcard mask. This is what called as wildcard mask. What is this doing? It says that wherever I have zero, those octets must, must, verily, verily, definitely, definitely match. So, only one interface will match with that address which is this Lubeck 3. So if you go now and check which interface runs EIGRP, show IP, EIGRP, interfaces, show me the interfaces. It says only Lubeck 3. Because that is the only one which has got 10.9. Other Lubecks don't. And as usual, the physical interface. Now let's go to router 1. And in router 1, we want to advertise only 10.3. So router 1, router EIGRP 1000, network 10.3.0.0, wildcard mask. Now if you check here what all interfaces runs EIGRP, show a IP IGRP interface, you can see Lubeck 2. You see? Lubeck. Okay, let us check the routing table now. Show IP root EIGRP. Look at this. I'm learning only 10.9 from the other side. If you try pinging 10.9, it will ping, but it won't ping 10.8.
What do you understand here? We have filtered some networks getting advertised. We have filtered. Filtering some network from advertising, getting advertised is easy in EIGRP because you got what? Wildcard mask. Wildcard mask. Did you understand what is wildcard mask? It is a somewhat opposite to subject mask. Usually subject mask, what do you write? 252500. Here it is 00255. But it doesn't need to be op exactly opposite. See, if I want to advertise, I can also advertise like this. See, I'm going to say 10.5.0.1, 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 .0. What does this mean? This means that all these numbers, four numbers should match on an interface. All should match. Only then you run EIGRP. If you go now and check, it will be running on the last Lubeck interface. You see, the last Lubeck interface. Lubeck 4 is also now running. Okay, now let us go to router 2 and verify the routing table. You can see both 10.3 and 10.5 is coming. Yeah, so this mask and uh, what you put as a wildcard mask doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, now let me try pinging 10.5.0.1. Let me go to ping. Okay. Next. This is about wildcard mask. I would like to verify this. After using wildcard mask, I would like to verify the protocol command, show IP protocol. You can very clearly say that this is what matched. I said wildcard mask slash 16. I said wildcard mask slash 22. Sorry, 32, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Very clearly shows that it is advertising only these networks. So even though there are many 10 network, it advertises only this 10.9. Okay. See, there is one more command in EIGRP called topology command. Show IP EIGRP topology. This will show you for every destination all possible paths. For that, we need to design another topology with multiple paths, another lab. This don't have multiple paths. It has got only single path, just two router. We will add more router in coming days class. We'll have multiple paths, and then we'll understand this topology table. Right? 